Hello and welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next goal for starts the day, what are you thinking about this? Yeah, it's right now the game plan is working, but they still have to go out there and play off the front foot, play on offense, and not worry about who's chasing them. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Oh, so close. And they'll walk away with a par on this. Currently sitting in first place. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Come on, sit. That's some good golf right there. Our man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Well, I'm down on the seventh hole, and JT's just getting ready for his next shot. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole this tournament. Oh, just missed. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Welcome to this par five hole. It was a little untidy, wasn't it? The third hole at TPC Southwind, Rich, the first of the par fives on the golf course. A lot of water in play. You need to be brave if you're going for this in two. More golf balls hit into the water at TPC Southwind than any other golf course on tour. An excellent reason why you get a little careless. That water on the right-hand side is going to gobble up that second shot. I shot that. That should find the surface. Wow, what a shot. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for Birdie. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? Currently in first position. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. The tea is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Left yourself an opportunity. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, looking like around 35 feet to the cup. He was on a good line. And that should secure the par. Well done. Sitting at minus 14 now for the event. Quite often the hardest hole in golf. A long par four. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. 
they had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Getting ready to play their third. That's sensational. Nothing like it. Good stuff. Still in the lead now after that hole. Time to tee off at the sixth. Oh, great swing there. John, give us a small update. Down on the 11th hole, this is Justin Thomas's next shot. And from the bunker here. Let's get back to it, shall we? Bad approach. He'll be punting. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Leading by six strokes after that one. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Looks like this one's hitting safely for the fairway. Time to head to the 11th hole now for this highlight. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Lining up for his third now. And back to the course with the live action. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Going with the eight iron here. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here at the seventh. This putt was about eight feet. Not a bad line, this. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Beautiful swing there. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. How close was that to going down? If he makes this, he'll save his par. This one's looking good. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. 
That one's heading down Broadway. From about 130 yards here. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Sitting at one under the card. Currently tied for eighth place. And this effort by Kevin Kisner. And this has been a hole he's unable to take advantage of so far for this event. That's half a chance of being hold this one. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Now seven strokes up after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well, this could alter the line of the shot. Nicely done. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, I'm down here watching Matt Kuchar on the 14th hole. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Going with the six iron here. A yeah, quality shot that. And this one for back to back birdies. This one's online. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one might need to sit. Yeah, that one will play. This one's for birdie. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Okay, steady now. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. This one started out on a good line. And there it is. And now that finds him in first place. Always exciting when you stand up on the tee on a short par four. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? What a gargantuan tee shot. Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau from earlier. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? And the card path is not always a bad place to be. Just pick the ball clean. Birdie on this hole yesterday, but highly doubtful from the lie they have today. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. A bit short with that effort. Oh, well done. That's a solid part. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That a boy, good shot. And they're playing from about 140 yards out.
Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Just didn't drop. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Here we are in front of a par three. Going with a three wood here. Just needs this one to kick right. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Oh my, that's a putrid lie. Can he get out of here? Yeah, they are deep down into this bunker. Uh, it should be interesting to see how they escape this one. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Lovely touch. Well played. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Solid par putt, that. He sits in first position. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. That's heading into the rough, I think. Yeah, this lie is pretty deep here. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Playing their fourth shot. Wow, what a save. Not a good lie. Fortunate to hit the pin and go in. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you take on this 16th hole. Well, it's heading for the fairway. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Opting for the three wood. And here we are with the third shot. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Four feet to the cup. And that part will give them birdie number six on the day. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. I got to say, this is a 10 on the scale. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this lie look like, mate? Well, considering where they ended up, the the lie could have been a lot worse. I think they might be able to, to deal with this with not too, too much trouble. That got caught up in a few of the branches. That's a smart option. Back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. We've left us off a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close.
That was a gallant attempt. Putting for bogey. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Currently in first position. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. Bogey on the last, but a good opportunity on this one to bounce back with a birdie. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Luke. That did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. And choosing the eight iron here. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Oh, what a great stroke. Putting for par. And that'll be all she wrote today. Well played. Through 54 holes, this wonderful golf continues. Our leader in the clubhouse. Oh, it's been sparkling, hasn't it? It's been a pleasure to watch. It's got to be a little strange, though, having such a massive lead because there's only one way to go, and that's down. Let's see how they handle the pressure on the final round. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.